Hello guys, welcome to a new video and I'm really excited for this new video because we are going to do a ARP spoofing or ARP poison, whatever you want to call it. So in this video we are going to do is that we are going to actually spoof this Windows 10 computer by telling this computer that the default uh, MAC address, default gateway for the, uh, the MAC address, which is this router right here, has changed to a different MAC address, which is the MAC address of Kali Linux. So whenever this Windows machine tries to reach uh, the default gateway for any connection, it's going to send all the traffic to Kali Linux. So let's go ahead and take a look at that, guys. Um, first, let's go ahead to the Windows computer and let's see um, what we have over here. So we need to um, start with the uh, command line. And for here, we want to do a ARP A. So we can see the ARP catch. And as you can see right here, the MAC address for the 192.168.1.1, that one, that one, which is our default gateway, is this MAC address. And each one of them has a different MAC address. And you can see this one, 192.168.1.3, uh, which is the Kali Linux computer, has its own MAC address as well. So what we're going to do is we are going to put this MAC address into this IP address. So then whenever this Windows machine tries to connect to the internet or anything like that, or send traffic to the default gateway, it's actually going to send it to the Kali Linux computer. So let's go ahead and do that. And then after we do that, I'm going to show you how, guys, how you can um, how you can stop that in your network. And it, it is by doing a, a dynamic ARP inspection. And if you get you got, if you guys don't know what ARP spoofing is, it is a type of attack in which a malicious actor sends falsified ARP or address resolution protocol message over a local network. And this results in the linking of an attacker's MAC address with the IP address of the legitimate computer or server on the network. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and start that. Um, and as you can see, the MAC address is this one. So we are going to replace it. So let's go ahead to the Kali Linux, um, to this piece, and then let's go ahead and start this uh, command line. And from that command line, we are going to first enable um, we're going to the name of IP forwarding, and what that does is it turns this Kalinus computer into a router, so that way we um, are able to um, route um, packets and also spoof that ARP cache. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so the first thing you gotta go to here, and then after that you gotta go to sys net, then IP report, because that's what we're going to enable, then IP forward there we go so that's as being enabled then after that we are going to start the uh, ARP spoof and then you need to do the target for actually another target you need to do your the interface that you're going to be using which is ETH 0 and then the target IP address which is 192.168.1.4 that one, that four, which is the IP address of the Windows device over here and then you're going to do the um, R and this one is going to be the IP address of the default gateway. There we go. And then after that starts, uh, Linux is going to start sending some ARP replies to this Windows machine, telling them that the MAC address of that IP address of 192.168.1.1 has changed. So let's go ahead and go to the Windows device. And let's do a ARP A again. And as you can see right here, the MAC address for 192.168.1.1 has changed to the IP address of the Kali Linux computer, as you can see right here, right? And if you can see before we did this ARP um, spoofing, it was the, the the correct MAC address, but now since we are doing this um, ARP spoofing, it, it was changed to the MAC address of the Kali Linux computer. So if this computer um, wants to send traffic anywhere. Let's say that you want to send traffic to 8.8.8. .8 let's do a continuous ping over here and let's see what happens. Actually, you need to do it from over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start these a capture, a Wireshark capture, so we can see what's going on. And you're going to see that we are actually receiving that traffic from the computer. So as you can see right here, we are getting some ARP stuff and we are getting ICMPs. There you go. You can see that 
the computer is trying to ping us and you can do a filter by doing IP address um, equals equals to 192.168.1.1 one, one. Um, is that how you do it? IP address hmm it's actually not working let's just leave it like this but as you can see that the source of the we are getting some information that from this Windows computer 192.168.168.1.4 is trying to reach 8.8.8.8 and we are receiving that traffic right now because we changed the MAC address of the default gateway and since we did that what's happening is that um, all the traffic is now getting is now getting to the Kali Linux so that this machine now um, is able to do whatever they want so if this Windows machine wants to go to like a Facebook um, website we can just redirect um, that Windows machine to a fake Facebook account and we can make that computer login and we can steal their information so such as password um, and use username and password so we want to prevent that and how can we do that uh, let's go ahead and stop without saving let's go ahead and just tap the capture and what is the way that we can do that the the way that you could do that is by doing a dynamic ARP inspection so that's what we're going to turn on on the switch and it is a secure feature that rejects invalid malicious ARP packets and this feature prevents a class of man in the middle attacks like what we're doing right now um, where an unfriendly station intercepts traffic for other stations by poisoning the ARP cache which is what we did uh, with unsuspecting um, neighbors uh, so before we can turn um, um, dynamic ARP inspection we need to um, turn on DHCP snooping because um, dynamic ARP inspection depends on DHCP snooping database to verify the IP to MAC address um, from oncoming ARP requests and ARP responses so let's go ahead and do that from the switch oh, I had it open already actually let's just go ahead and close this one so from here let's go ahead and turn on first you need to turn on IP DHCP DHCP snooping and then from so we turned DHCP snooping globally and we also did it um, for the VLAN 1 which is the one that is um, connected to all of them so after we do that we need to go ahead and turn on IP um, ARP inspection and it's going to be for VLAN, VLAN 1 so after we do that we are going to receive a lot of that you can see that it is the 9 ARP responses on Gigabit 00, which is the one connected to Kali Linux because it identified that Kali Linux is trying to um, do some ARP spoofing. And since it noticed that it was doing that, it is now stopping it. So now, since it is stopping it, or it, it has stopped it, what you could do is if we go back to the Windows computer, um, let's go ahead and stop those pings. Control C. It didn't respond okay let's go ahead open that command line again and you can do a arp negative a you can see now that um, we do not see well we see the Kali Linux one over here but we do not see the 192.168.1.1 anymore so let's go ahead and ping it again and it looks like we're not able to ping that so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and go to interface gigabit zero slash zero and we need to tell her that that is an IP ARP inspection and we need to trust it and we also need to trust it for um, gigabit zero one right gigabit zero one IP ARP inspection um, on gigabit zero one Oh, ARP inspection trust. So we have done it for, we did it for gigabit zero zero. So since we did it for gigabit zero zero, um, Kali Linux is going to continue to do that. 
so I just want to I did that just so we can stop it for now but let's go ahead to gigabit 02 and do a ARP inspection and trust it and then let's go ahead back to gigabit 00 oops gigabit confused and do IP ARP inspection trust and let's negate that there we go so now after that since we say we told that to not trust this port because it's not connected to a router or it's not connected to a router or another switch this one is supposed to be connected to a computer but since somebody somebody came in into the office and broke Linux and tried to do a DH a ARP spoofing or is doing it it's now denying that so this is how you are able to do um, DHCP or not DHCP ARP spoofing for a Linux computer and also how you are able to configure um, dynamic ARP inspection so we can stop the ARP spoofing in our network and before you could do dynamic ARP inspection you need to enable DHCP snooping um, because we need the database from DHCP snooping for us to be able to use the dynamic ARP inspection guys so this is set for this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learn a lot from this video and if you guys enjoy this video go ahead and follow me on Twitter at CCNA daily tips where I come out with a lot of videos and a lot of content and if you don't have a Twitter account hey go ahead and create one because I know you have a um, because I know you have an email if you have an email you should be able to create a Twitter account and then go ahead and follow me so thank you guys for watching and I see you on the next one bye bye